Hello everyone, and today we're going to do another very, very interesting problem. Let's get right into it. So, Anne replaces letters in the calculation K-A-N-G-A minus R-O-O -O with some of the numbers from 1 to 9 and then calculates the result. The same numbers are replaced by the same numbers and different letters by different numbers. What is the largest possible result she can get? Okay, so let's do what we first know. We first know that we have to add K-A-N plus G-A. Okay, so let's write that. K-A-N plus G-A. Okay, but we have to do this correctly so that everything lines up. Okay, so we know that G would be in the tens place and A would be in the ones place. Uh, so yeah, this would be perfect. Uh, now we know that we have to subtract root, right? So when we subtract root, it has to be the lowest number possible. Since here, they're asking you to get the largest possible result. So we know that subtracting the subtracting number has to be the lowest one possible. So let's do that. R O O equals, so what could be the lowest number? We know that since one is the lowest number, the hundreds digit should be one, but the, since we can't be, nothing can be zero since it's one to nine, the second least number would be two. But since they have two O's, we can do two, two. So that's what Rue is. So let's go back to can plus ka. Okay, so let's see what we noticed. We noticed that there are two A's. One in the tens place and one in the ones place. Uh, so since they're both A's, they have to be the same number, but they're in different places. Just like this one. One O's in the tens place and one O's in the ones place, but they're still the same number. Okay, so since it's asking for the largest possible result, again, uh, we know that these numbers have to be the big ones, the K-A-N and the G-A. So First, let's try doing 9 for k. And for a, let's try doing 8. But now we realize that if this is 8, then this a has to be 8 too. So let's do a small 8 there. Okay, since those two are a, we could either do 6, 6 in the n, and 7 in the g, or we could possibly do 7 in the n and 6 in the g. But actually, since, yeah, if we add 7 in the, in the, in the n's place, then we would get a lower number since 6 would be in the g's place then. Okay, so let's keep it this way. Okay, now it's time to add them up. 6 plus 8 is 4, and then we carry over the 1 which is 9 now, and 9 plus a 7 is 6. Then we add the 1 here, and we get a 10. So now we have a total of 1,064. So now all we have to do is subtract 122 from it. Okay, so once we subtract 122 from it, now we get our answer. The answer is 942. Okay. Now we have our answer. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share our videos.